So normally organizations start with agile teams, right? Because agile uh, has been there, sprints especially has been there from quite some time, 2001 onwards, when since, since the days of, uh, you know, uh, the Agile Manifesto, uh, where 17 Agiles came together in Snowboard, Utah. Since then, a lot of teams have gone into the journey of building products using Agile teams. And these Agile teams are working well, and they've, they've kind of matured in the process. But what, what organizations are seeing is teams are good individually or, or, or solo within that team. They are functioning well. But they don't have what is called cross commits or, or cross collaboration done well. Or if there is any dependencies they have across the teams, they're not able to manage it properly. So organizations are, are facing those problems and they want to understand what is that next thing they have to do to resolve those issues. Issues could be like resolving the interdependencies between the teams. The issues could be, how can they all work towards getting to the final product, which the customer needs? And all those things, what Kishore was talking about, the benefits of, of a safe, how, how that analogy of uh, conductor orchestrating all the teams to work in unison in the, so that they can work together to deliver the solution, which is helpful for the organization. It is always advisable to understand what they are doing and why they are doing what they are doing. So uh, it is important to have that maturity of team level agility before they can even understand and comprehend the, the next level of scaling. But more important, uh, uh, you know, what teams have to understand is when they are working in their siloed team, they also need to understand what is going around them, especially to work together to support that product. So that's why we in, in a scale agile implementation plan, you have a lot of trainings, a lot of learnings, a lot of, there's a, there's a method to that madness where you go slowly by first training the product owners, training the scrum masters, training the team members, and then making sure that everyone within that, uh, that organization, especially the virtual organization of agile release train, understands their role clearly so that they can be very much forthcoming and help the team to move forward into that space. And a system demo is a combined integrated demo. So that means there are 10 teams on the train, Agile release train. So we are integrating the work of all the 10 teams. So system demo happens once a sprint, once at the, at the end of the iteration. And there's something called PI system demo that you are showing the work of all the 10 weeks that happens once in a PI. So iteration review is that happens at the end of the time box iteration, right? So you are basically showing the work you accomplished in the last two weeks. So it's almost like demoing the work you have finished in the last two weeks. By definition, the teams, even thinking of safe, must be agile first. If you cannot uh, be agile team, so don't think about being a scaled agile team. It's not going to work. Yes, PI is 10 weeks. Uh, yes, typically, again, the guidance is two week iterations, 10 week sprints. Two week iteration, 10 week sprints. But I have seen PI going to 12 weeks, six sprints, or uh, three months. And uh, yes, you can choose a sprint length. Uh, shorter the better, two weeks. I've seen folks having three weeks sprints also.